It's Ramsey Dewey over here at the Animal MMA Gym in Shanghai, China. We're at the Animal 2 location in the Puto District. Chinyu and I are going to show you some rear naked choke stuff. There are a million videos about rear naked chokes on the internet, and a lot of them are just absolutely piss poor garbage. I'm just going to say that, not to mention any names, but um, their last name rhymes with wrong. Hi everyone, this is Master Ron. Today I teach you how to defend yourself in Das Street. In Das Street, a boxer coming at you, what do you do? You don't want to get punched in the face? Because if you get punched in the face, you're going to become an ugly m And your wife is going to divorce you, he's going to get with your best friend because your best friend is a less ugly m than you. So what do you do? You don't wait to block. Then you fuck it back. I want to cut off all the space here and we're going to finish this choke with one arm. How do we do that? Well, it's the same basic setup for the two-arm choke. I get as close as possible to his throat. I get my elbow right in the trachea. I'm going to grab this arm. Now I've got three points of pressure. I will push this arm down. I'm grabbing this chunk of meat right here, right behind the, the neck, and I'm pulling it this way. You see, when I wrench this way, his body moves that way. And I've got face-to-face -face contact, like we're very, very close. And I'm pushing with my head, right? But since this arm is, is here, when I push with the head, I'm pushing his head into, I'm pushing his neck into my arm. So I put all these three points together and, yeah, we well got a nice choke. For school MMA, man, MMA is a sport, it has rules. In the streets, we have no rules. You have to protect yourself in the streets, especially if you go to prison. Because if you don't know how to protect yourself in, in prison, maybe you better clean your You better polish that up because you're going to get screwed up the you're going to get screwed up the if you don't want to get Now what generally happens, we start choking someone, they'll grab this with two arms. Okay? And he starts pulling, right? And he's pulling hard. And here's a big mistake I see a lot of people make. I even saw uh, Kamzat Shamayev do this when he fought Li Jing Liang. It was a brilliant fight, but it could have ended a lot sooner. So he's pulling. Pull really hard. Right? And he grabbed the bicep and look, now there's all this space. There's this much space. You can't choke a guy with space, and even if I'm squeezing now, I'll, I'll just waste energy. And I have to be stronger than him now. And again, Shemaev is a super strong guy, so eventually after three attempts, it worked out for him. But here's how we can fix that right away. So we go to that one-arm variation. Maybe it's not working. Maybe he's pulling really hard, right? Now, without letting go, you can't let go here. I'm going to reach behind the head. My arm is still grabbing this chunk of meat. My head is still very close. Now... I'll change my hand over here to the bicep. So this is kind of hard to see. Maybe let's move sideways a little. Okay. You got to get a really close-up shot of what I'm doing with this hand. So I'm grabbing th this muscle group here, right? And he's pulling very hard trying to make space. Nah. Okay. As long as I'm holding here, I won't give up the space. Now I will reach behind his head as deep as I can. See, this, muscle, this hand is still here. And I'll bring this down, and now I'll change my hand. So just, just for demonstration purposes, right, once I have this hand behind the head, I'll reach for the bicep. And now it gets very tight, right? So I want you to do this to me. You probably won't be able to hear the microphone. In fact, let me just take this off. Oh, I'm getting strangled. So do it to me, please. So he's got this choke on. He's in very deep. He's pushing this down. And now I'm going to start pulling, right? Pulling very hard. And at that point, it doesn't matter that I'm pulling very hard because there was no space. But if he let go in order to grab the bicep first, if he did that, I would get out easily. And I hear there is this Eden Rex Dewey. He questions my technique of rear naked choking. What is that you say? I, I should not put the head on the top of the head. Well, that's bull. Ramsey Dewey doesn't know how to fight. Ramsey Dewey only fought in the cage. That is not real. It has rules. I protect myself in the streets. One more time the wrong way and then the right way. So again, while I do this, I want you to try to escape. I want you to pull. Okay? So pull very hard. Try to escape like your life depends on it. Okay, so the wrong way. Pull very hard. Look at that. Now I have to be stronger to finish. Okay, now the right way. Pull very hard, as hard as you can. Okay, and he's pulling just as hard both times. Again, if you give a guy a little bit of space when he's pulling very hard, he will 
get the space that he wants. If you give him no space, in spite of his strength, he won't get it. A couple other details about the rear naked choke. The chin, man, I, I hear so many people say, just tuck your chin, right? And this can buy a second or two if you have an actual plan. But here, tuck your chin very low, like, like this, right? So now, you know, I, I, I don't have it flush around the neck, but check this out. I'm going to use these same body mechanics, and I'm going to choke the chin, okay? We can still finish it. I'm pulling his chin into his throat here. And if I follow through to completion here, I will break the jaw. I'll break it right off and pull it into his throat and choke him and break the jaw. So one more time. So pull the chin down. So I'm going to come over that, grab this, all those same body mechanics. Don't give him an inch of space. He can pull as hard as he wants. He can tuck the chin as much as he wants, and we can still finish that. So again, if he tucks the chin, break it. If you're not feeling like that. I mean, some people say, you know, lift up on the nose, and that's okay, you can do that, but at the same time, this gives him space. Here, pull on this arm very hard, pull, right? So if I start lifting up here, look, now he's got space, now we can trap this arm, now he's got ways out. I would say, just go for the chin. You have the arm right here already, just go for it, finish it. Space is the enemy in this dojo. Anyway, when we're fighting for rear naked chokes, so, thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. Give it up for the street. Right. For the street. For the street. You step up a in the foot, and then you strike him in the groin, so he have no more kidney, right? And then you tear off his balls, and you feed them to him. You feed his kidneys to him. He, he has no more kidney. So big problem, right? Big problem.